Hello everybody and welcome to Tales from the Borderlands. I'm your host Little Purple Spider. Now I am using the new recording software and this is a mostly story based game. So I will try and get the joins between them as close as I can as it has a limit because I'm currently using the free version. But in the new year I intend to buy it. Now this is a game from Telltale Games, which made the Walking Dead series and the uh, Wolf Among Us series. So I'm hoping this is going to be pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, I already have a save. Hang on. There we go. Because I tried to record it previously, but it was just so um, it was so jumpy with my old software. I didn't see the point of uploading it and figured I'd start again. Ooh. I'm actually really excited about this. I've been looking forward to this. Now, as it is a mostly story-based game, I Back will be again. remaining quiet. Hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Do a lot of it. Well. So you can actually have some hear cutscenes and stuff. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less. Ah. Uh, Obvious rewards. Stories. Legends. Those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. So like I said, I will be remaining quiet probably throughout most of it because it is mostly story based, but I will chip in, obviously, <laughs> when I can. It is a very pretty game. <laughs> Some sort of radiation leak I don't know about. <laughs> it. I love the intros to the characters in the Borderlands series. Where exactly are we going? I ask the questions. Okay, then, uh, do you mind asking yourself where you're taking me? Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on feed. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person, so just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. I 
guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the baddest guy of them all. This long. It must feel and good I to want finally to be just like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Dang it! Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. <laughs> if you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Yeah, I figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. If I'm not puking up $500 in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a band afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Wow, thanks for telling me. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. All right, man, let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Hmm. Big smile. <laughs> mm. no, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. Oh, that. There you go. You don't respect me at all. That was a horrible smile. Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. <gasps> because him. black is better. Look, don't concern He's yourself everything. with why. Okay, Jerry. Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. The guy that's okay. in, like, rules of engagement. Patrick, what? You look Patrick Warburton. <laughs> Sorry, Valentine just informed me of his right. name. And I usually am. <laughs> You're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop. Well, congratulations on your promotion. Love what you've done with the office. Going for the whole minimalist thing. Oh, that's cute. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. Sorry, that was an alarm. I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. The reason why I'm in that chair and you're not. For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, Reese. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul. Your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. Oh gosh. You don't want to be that man. Ooh. No thank you. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my 
which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digestructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, 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 no, but... I can't tell what button that's going to me to press. There we go. Me. Only less... Do you want Vasquez the money or not? <laughs> Pandora. the biggest scumbags always have the best view. Yes. Oh, it's Henderson. Here, sucking up to the guy. Out the window. That's what we had before. Anything else? Nope. It's a working day, August, and I just got this promotion. There we go. <laughs> no, no. It's a lie. Yeah, okay. Hey, look, look, look. Are you going? Oh, this is cool. Man. Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? Personal catchphrases. Rock and roll, rock and load, ain't no thang, ironically. Huh. Look, I'll have to call you back. I... Favorite donut, that kind with the sprinkler stuffers. Not well. <laughs> it's not. No, Such it won't a be nice a seat. For me to get. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah, that's what we had before. Oh, this is awesome. Hmm. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, say hi to your mom. Damn it! Ah, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were mm. so rudely interrupted. We were talking... <clears throat> we were talking about my promotion. All right, your uh, promotion. Henderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you... I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm going to make you assistant vice janitor. No, <gasps> no, not the janitor. No, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. You can't humiliate me. I quit. Careful now, kid. The only way you quit Hyperion is the way Henderson did. I know. You're dismissed, Reese.
I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied.